love, not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of the life, not of the Father, but is of the world. Before a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, it will go about its life unaware of the oncoming freedom and beauty that will change its nature forever. Once a butterfly, it will remain forever changed. It will fly versus crawling. It will nourish itself with nectar and not leaves. The butterfly is free to hide among the clouds and not the ground, sleeping safely on a tree branch and not in the grass secure from the footsteps of its enemy. Only if the caterpillar can survive, it will fulfill its destiny to become a beautiful and glorious butterfly. This new life is a remarkable process, completed by God's sovereign design. It is a transformation, a God-inspired regeneration. It is a revelation of our hope in Jesus Christ. Once in our hearts, the Spirit of God will transform us into a new creature. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are past away. Behold, all things are become new. This is the joyful beginning of our new life the Spirit of God dwelling within us. As we live in Him and He in us, like the butterfly, we should not love, desire, or do the former things of our old nature. It is only by the love of the Father that our hearts will remain transformed. If we dare to neglect ourselves with improper nourishment, such as sin, then the footsteps of the enemy will stomp us out. It is only in the growth of our personal relationship with God can the earthly pleasures fade from our desires. Like the butterfly, our transformation will have a profound effect because more of God equals less of the world. If we read 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, as a baby in Christ, our flesh will most certainly wander. How can such a change take place? We want the love of the Father in us, but life's pleasures and possessions have been our way for years. Only by the Word of God can we be free from our desires of this world. Our old nature dies as the new creature blossoms. One day we will run across 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, and because of the love of Christ, this world will no longer control us. God's love is greater. We will fly as a butterfly, full of beauty and freedom, giving all the glory to God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are past away. Behold, all things are become new.